Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will install VAMP server on our local system. So, first of all, go to your browser and type VAMP server slash en slash. And after this, go to download section and um, you will find two setups. One is 32 bit and second one is uh, 64 bit. Download according to your system. I am going to download 32 bit. Click on download directory. After downloading, you will get setup like this. Double click on it. and click on next accept agreement click on next next then click on install web server stands for windows apache mysql php and uh, it will install apache mysql and php software on your system that are required for your website if you want to create a dynamic websites now it will ask me to choose default web browser I am going to choose Firefox yes click on next launch web server and here is the fly icon of your web server as you can see it changed from red to orange if you see this green icon then your web server is up and running now open your browser and type localhost and if you will see this window then your web server is working now for example i want to test my this application i will copy it and um, go to c drive and click on web server go to www directory and delete all content in this folder and paste your new website uh, here is my new website this website requires database so first of all I need to create a database let's create database click on this icon and click on PHP my admin after this it will ask username and password username is root and uh, password is blank don't type anything and click on go to create a new database click on database and write the name of your database that you want to create let's call it smsdb okay, click on create and you will get message like this uh, database smsdb has been created go to local host website and first database username is root password is nothing black database name is sms db call it admin and admin click on clear database Let's check our website is working or not. Create a new record.
so as you can see our website is working you can test your website before uploading to your web server so that's all for this video see you in the next video